The headline says, Chancellor Thriller, as Germany's political scene bursts into life and the search intensifies for a new leader for this powerhouse of Europe. The Social Democrats believe they're on course for political victory, snatching almost 26% of yesterday's historic vote. Their main rivals, the centre-right CDU, Angela Merkel's party, crashing from a high to 1% below the SPD. SPD leader Olaf Scholz is centre-left, and he now has the task of forming an alliance. He says the SPD gets a lot of support from the citizens, and that's a mandate to make sure that everything that was discussed in this election campaign will be implemented. On paper, at least, Olaf Scholz could be the next chancellor instead of the Christian Democrats' Armin Laschet. I am so glad that people believe in Olaf Scholz and that people do not believe that Armin Laschet really can lead this country. So we are really amazed by this result. And it's, it's really brilliant. The SPD is back. It's, uh, the SPD is back on the train and I hope we are going to lead the new government and Olaf Scholz will become chancellor. The next government will be a three-way coalition, making the Liberal pro-business FDP, potential kingmakers and also the Greens getting their biggest vote ever of 15%. Their leader said, we have a mandate not only now for future generations, but you can sense this country needs a revival, a real awakening, and above all, this country needs a climate change government. And what of the CDU, Christian Democrats? Its leader still hoping the tide will turn and he might, just might, be Chancellor. He said, we have at this time no certain end results, no certain numbers, but we can already say we can't be satisfied with the result. It's a huge disappointment for the union as a whole. You can't gloss over that. On the other hand, the fact is that we still have the possibility of forming a government. There is no clear majority for a candidate for chancellor. And to that extent, we will now go into the talks and see if we can manage to form a stable centrist coalition. There's nothing to gloss over. The election was clearly lost. It now remains to be seen whether there will be a traffic light coalition or a Jamaica alliance. We will have to accept the election result with humility. The voters have spoken. They obviously wanted a change for the most part. So a three-way coalition is being planned for a new government. How stable will it be? Will it work? No one knows as Germany enters uncharted waters. John Cooks and the Rice News, Berlin.